Hey guys, Vaughn here, and today we're going to be taking down the Dragonazo, which is the third boss in Resident Evil Revelations. This is on the Xbox 360. Now this boss appears later in the game after you restore the elevators in the Promenade Hall. You'll actually be attacked by it as you're going up the elevator, and this is where the actual boss fight happens. Now this boss fight is actually really, really easy. Probably the easiest boss fight. Um, I don't know if the fourth one is easier. I'm actually going to be uploading that boss as well and the fifth and final boss but this boss is extremely easy so if you didn't notice it has like scales all over its body and if you shoot at any of these parts it's not going to do any damage now its weak points are the fleshy part of its arm which you just saw a second ago and the fleshy part of its entire body which you'll never see if it's charging at you only if it charges into a wall and then you get around it really quickly and take a look at it now the first thing you probably want to do is have this thing charge at you and take out all these uh, food stands so you have more room to maneuver and keep in mind there's two of these red tanks and if he runs into them like right there it will stun him and he'll fall to the ground. But there's an extremely easy and cheap way to take out this monstrosity and that's to use the two alcoves at each end of this room. So basically your goal in this boss fight is to go to one end of the room, wait till he charges at you, and then go behind the wall so that he can't hit you. Turn around really swiftly and start shooting at its fleshy side until it goes back. There you can see its weak point. It'll start vibrating after you start shooting its weird eyeball tentacle thingamajig. I'm surprised this game actually has a boss fight like this because all the other bosses are usually extremely hard, um, but this one's very, very easy. I think I get hit maybe once in the entire fight. But yeah, that's all you have to do really is just keep doing this over and over and over and nothing really changes. Just keep turning around, shooting him for a bit until he turns back around, turn around, run back to the end of the hall. Here I didn't do it fast enough so I almost got hit, but you can still strafe out of the way is the thing. So just keep doing that over and over and eventually he will collapse in the middle of the room. Um, there will be a short little cutscene showing him dying. And remember, you can scan this guy like maybe six times, I think. I scan him once during the fight and about five times uh, when he's dead. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys found this guide helpful. And if you did, a like is always appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. My name is Grovana, and I wish you all a wonderful day.